to love that. And the Holy Spirit to me is a source of comfort um, and a source of confidence. I think throughout my day, I am constantly praying and asking that the Holy Spirit would fill me um, and that the Holy Spirit would guide me uh, in my choices, in my actions. Um, and I find a lot of comfort and confidence in knowing that um, the Holy Spirit will give me the words and will give me the knowledge that I need to be able to go through my day and represent um, Jesus as best as I can. I think throughout my whole life, the Holy Spirit has spoken to me through dreams, but it's only been in the past few years as I have learned about spiritual gifts and more about the Holy Spirit that um, I've realised that those dreams are from the Holy Spirit. Most recently, it was a couple of months ago, and it was a really clear image of this young girl. She was sitting on a bed and it was really highlighted to me what she was wearing, what she looked like, um, what her hair was. Every last detail was really clear to me. And I was sort of sitting in the corner of the room, just observing. I couldn't say anything, I couldn't do anything, but I was just watching. And she was sitting there and she was really um, in quite a dark place with her mental health and really struggling and she had kind of come to the end of her strength um, and felt like she had done all she could do. And I sort of woke up immediately as the dream finished and um, was quite confused initially, but then had this sense that it was a dream from the Holy Spirit. But initially I wasn't too sure. It wasn't relevant to me. It wasn't relevant to anyone in my life at the time. And I kind of just left it with God and I said, God, if there, you know, if there is some meaning behind that, would you reveal that to me? But um, I didn't think too much more of it. Initially I was kind of, a little bit disturbed because it was quite confronting but it was a few days later I was at uni and our class finished about an hour early and I sat down and I was doing my work and I noticed just above my laptop there was a young girl who came and sat a few tables across from me and she sat down and she broke down into tears. she um, essentially fell to the floor in tears and I just thought someone must have to be in such a dark place to be on the floor in public crying. And as soon as I saw her, I had such a strong sense from the Holy Spirit. It was almost audible. I heard, that's her. It was so clear from the Holy Spirit. He said, you've got to go talk to her. You've got to go ask her if she's okay. And I kind of sat there. I was like, God, I can't do that. I can't walk up to a stranger in public. And I just heard the Holy Spirit saying, you have to go talk to her. And you have to go ask her if she's okay. As she walked out, um, I almost don't even know how to explain what happened. It was like I no longer was in control but the Holy Spirit forced me up to walk me over to her and I just went over and said I'm so sorry to bother you but are you okay I noticed you're upset and initially she was quite defensive she was like I'm fine like I'm okay don't worry about it and I just looked at her and I said do you know that Jesus loves you and he loves you so much and I don't know what you're going through and I don't know what your week has looked like I don't know what you're struggling with but I want you to know that that God sees and he understands when other people don't get it he gets it and he understands you more than anyone ever will and he loves you more than you could ever know and I just felt like I had to come and tell you that and I'm sorry if that's really upfront or it maybe seems a little bit weird but um, I just had to come and tell you how much he loves you and how much he's got you and I don't know you but I'm going to be praying for you and she just instantly softened and she said can I give you a hug and I said of course and she gave me this big hug and just sort of looked me um, really deeply in the eye and said, you've got no idea what that just did for me. And I was, yeah, I was so emotional. I just, I was so moved by what the Holy Spirit did. And I just knew in that moment that it was the Holy Spirit speaking and that he had that message for her. And I was simply just the vessel that he was using to get that message through to her.